हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल फ्रेंड्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट रिकमेंडेशंस दैट हैज बीन मेड बाय नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी 2020 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी हुई हैज रिसेंटली नोटिफाइड बाय द कैबिनेट ऑफ सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड Uh, some of the important aspects of the fundamental principles the guiding principles for shaping this nation uh, shaping this national education policy 2020 and friends we have also discussed about uh, uh, you know some of the important uh, recommendations relating to school education uh, that is covering uh, the new pedagogical and uh, curricular structure of school education that is 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 system of education 5 years of uh, <coughs> foundational stage 3 years of preparatory again 3 years of middle stage of education then further 4 years of secondary education so this is the new system of education in comparison to uh, the national policy uh, of education npe 1986 earlier it was 10 plus 10 plus 2 system of education so far as school system of uh, school edu- system of education is concerned so this is the changes that we have discussed in our earlier program and uh, uh, we have also discussed about you know uh, uh, in our earlier program uh, about how to uh, you know curtailing drop out rates and ensuring universal access to education at, at all levels okay so how to Uh, you can say uh, uh, minimize the dropout rates or finish the dropout rates you can say and how to bring 100% gross enrollment ratio ger in preschool to secondary level of education by 2030 so this is the uh, you can say the goal and one of the vision uh, uh, of this uh, uh, national education policy so how to realize this so that's why certain recommendations have been given so just like uh, you know uh, first is how to provide quality infrastructure establish more school at all levels of education and to appoint quality teachers well trained teachers okay so as per the eligibility fixed by uh, the ncte and uh, you know uh, ncert has given the responsibility that uh, Uh, by 2020 2021 ncert will come out with a national curriculum framework for school education okay for developing curriculum at the same time for uh, you can say uh, for printing the textbook developing the textbook for meeting the need of uh, the students as per the uh, uh, you know the new as per the new pedagogical structure as per the new school structure of national education policy 2020 further we have also discussed that uh, you know uh, only uh, bringing the drop out students to the mainstream of education is not enough rather how to retain them how to retain them in the system by providing quality education and how to make them cope with the situation how to make them academically sound how to make them uh, you know uh, achieving the minimum competencies minimum skill the minimum level of learning which is required at a particular standard okay uh, um, uh, in different subjects okay so that's why the school should take certain extra care uh, extra involvement for that group of students those are drop out and again uh, who are coming to the system of education and this has been realized uh, that this is not only uh, um, you can say uh, the responsibility of the school rather this is the responsibility of all the stakeholders okay who are involved in the system of education who are involved in school education system so maybe you can say these things has also been highlighted uh, in right to education act 2009 uh, in rt rt act 2009 you will find that uh, you know certain responsibilities have been given to all the stakeholders just like establishment of a school management committee smc okay for every school so whenever there is wherever there is a school so definitely one smc will be there that's called as the school management committee and the smc will take care uh, uh, the overall development of the school the smc will debla- uh, will develop the school development plan then uh, accordingly the school 
so far as infrastructure development is concerned school building at the same time development of teaching learning materials as well as appointment of the teachers and other curricular and extracurricular activities which is going on uh, in the school so you will find that smc will involved in overall development of the school so here also same thing that has been uh, you know recommended and suggested that uh, for uh, you know bringing the dropout uh, children uh, at all levels of school education again to the school system and how to retain them so this is uh, only effort that if will provide quality education and all facilities all schooling facilities to the children and if they adequately uh, mingle themselves if they adequately involve themselves cope themselves with the system of education if uh, uh, they will able to achieve the minimum level of learning the minimum competency and skills that is required at a particular level then definitely they will retain in the system and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the aim of uh, uh, you can say the national education policy that is to achieve a uh, 100% gross enrollment ratio by 2030 that may be realized as i have mentioned in my earlier program that uh, uh, at present 3.22 crore children those are as per the status uh, as per the report of nsso report of the statistics department of government of india uh, as per the survey report you will find that at present 3.22 crore uh, children are drop out so how to bring them the crores of children again to the mainstream of education and how to provide them quality education and how to retain them in the system of education is a challenge uh, uh, before the country is the challenge before the education system it's challenge before the uh, you can say school system before the all the stakeholders of the school system so friends basing upon this uh, you will find that uh, you know uh, the recommendations that has been given is very pertinent recommendations and further that should be realized further uh, in this program we will discuss some of the other important aspects just like uh, you can say uh, uh, for addressing uh, you know the need of uh, 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 the dropout children uh, more than three crores of dropout children only formal system is not enough okay so that's why here this has been mentioned uh, in one recommendation that scope of school education will be broadened to facilitate multiple pathways to learning involving both formal and non-formal education modes okay so only uh, you know practicing formal education system is not enough uh, you know uh, to meeting uh, you know crores of learners more than three crores of learners okay so that's why dropout learners so that's why non-formal education system should be engaged uh, uh, so should participate uh, you know, uh, 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 for facilitating education to that group of learners. So that's why this has also been mentioned in NEP 2020 that open and distance learning system, the ODL system of learning and the programs of ODL system should be offered by National Institute of Open Schooling. That's called as NIOS, National Institute of Open Schooling. So uh, you'll find that uh, the function of national uh, uh, Institute of Open Schooling is to provide education at the school stage. Okay, so this is a non-formal system of education, means without uh, a daily basis of teaching and learning process, without a daily classroom, uh, uh, you will find that uh, the learners will get adequate quality learning materials and uh, they will attend the tutorial sessions at the study centers, okay, part-time tutorial sessions at the study centers and further they will appear the exam, they will write the assignments. Okay, so, uh, you know, their certification will be done uh, by using both continuous assessment through assignment with the term and examinations, with the semester and examinations. So that's why here non-formal education system is also given importance for, uh, you know, uh, for addressing the education need of, you know, the huge dropout learners at all levels. Further, uh, uh, the recommendations is given just like the NIUS and state open schools. So we have, uh, you know, the parallel system uh, of open uh, education system so far as school education is concerned. You will find National Institute of Open Schooling that, that works at a national level. It functions over the country. 
at the same time state level uh, that's called as the state institutes of open schooling SIOS are also there so that's why SIOS uh, should equally involve for educating uh, you know uh, uh, this group of children especially this dropout group of children so that's why NIOS and state open schools will offer the following programs in addition to the present program just like A, B and C levels that are equivalent to grade A, B, C means the three stages of edu education that you can say the foundational stage, the preparatory stage and the middle stage of education that means it is up to uh, the age of uh, you can say 14 or up to the class of 8th. So NIUS and state open school will engage this group of students. So you see, the, uh, first of all, they are getting an opportunity. The, the dropout learners are getting an opportunity to engage themselves in the teaching learning process uh, in the formal schools. Okay, so this is the responsibility to uh, you can say identify the group of learners and to bring them uh, back to the system, formal system of education. At the same time, many a time you will find that, you know, because of many reasons, uh, you know, we have to employ the uh, non-formal system of education for addressing the need of uh, the dropout learners also. So, mutually, collaboratively, both the system of education, formal and non-formal system of education should be practiced, should be employed for, uh, uh, you know, uh, for educating the dropout children, for retaining the dropout children in the education system, for bringing, bringing them to the mainstream of education. Further, uh, you will find that another recommendation is given just like secondary education program that are equivalent to grade 10 and 12 uh, and further the vocational education courses or programs and adult literacy and life enrichment programs, you will find that this can be offered through uh, the non-formal education system. Okay, states will be encouraged to develop this, uh, develop this offering in regional languages by establishing new or strengthening existing state institute of open schooling. So new state open schools, uh, 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 this can be established, it should be established at the same time, the existing state institute of open schooling that should be reorganized, that should be strengthened, especially for addressing this 3.22 crores of, uh, you can say, dropout children, uh, including all the levels. So friends, these are certain important recommendations that has been given in NEP 2020. Further, uh, you see, uh, as I was talking earlier, uh, you know, uh, 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 all the stakeholders, uh, uh, they have given equal importance or certain uh, responsibility uh, for achieving educational goals, for achieving the national educational goals. So that's why here, uh, for dealing the non uh, for dealing uh, you can say the dropout learners at, at each and every stages of school education here efforts will be made to involve community and alumni in voluntary efforts for enhancing learning by providing at school so here you will find that this has been dedicatedly this has been particularly mentioned that the alumni of the school at the same time involvement of community at voluntary level Okay, so they should come forward and they should involve themselves for educating that group of learners, those are dropouts. Then further, this has been mentioned that how to provide quality education to them. Quality education is possible when we provide, uh, you can say one-on-one -on -one tutoring. One-on-one -on -one tutoring means when the teacher will deal uh, individual child, individual learners, individual children, ind individual student and when the teacher will fulfill the need of the individual children. So we can say that that is one on one tutoring. So here we can provide quality education by providing one on uh, one on one tutoring. So that's why here such things are given importance at the same time. Certain other things are also recommended just like teaching support and guidance. So this is not only to teach them with teaching support, we should provide them certain guidance. Okay, uh, uh, they should train, they should properly groomed about life skill education because because they have left school system uh, uh, upon a time and again they are coming to the school system. So that's why career guidance and other types of guidance and counseling is also 
is also very much important for them. Then further with career guidance, uh, you can say effective mentoring is also required. So how to provide effective mentoring? Effective mentoring can be provided by the school teachers, but at the same time, alumni of the schools, the voluntary service provider of the schools, just like you can say the retired teachers, uh, uh, you can say uh, social renounced persons from different areas, from the area of science and technology, from the areas of language and literature, from the areas of arts and crafts, from the areas of different, uh, you can say small scale industries, okay, semi-government employees. So, uh, uh, um, retired teachers, you can say, so how to motivate them and how to bring them uh, again to the school system so that they can engage themselves for teaching or for providing uh, 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 quality instruction to the dropout learners. So, friends, you will find that, uh, you know, uh, such important things uh, that has been, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 recommended in National Education Policy 2020. Keeping in consideration of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the need of the dropout learners and uh, uh, how to uh, uh, ensure universal access at the same time how to provide quality education at all levels. Okay, so that's why these are certain uh, uh, important recommendations. And further, uh, we have to wait and watch. We have to see that uh, how the policy is getting implemented and. Uh, how uh, you can say this has been realized at the field how the dropout more than three crores of dropout learners how they are coming uh, to the system of education and how quality education uh, are providing to them so that you know uh, they are coping themselves with the system and they are constructing themselves they are developing themselves uh, fit for engaging themselves in world of work in different professions in different job it may be in different vocational education it may be uh, in different uh, art and craft okay it may be in different uh, world of other activities so friends uh, these are the certain important recommendations uh, of uh, national education policy 2020 relating to curtailing dropouts and ensuring universal access to education at all levels in our next program we'll discuss about certain other aspects uh, of recommendation of NEP 2020. Thank you.